This is the fog light off my 2006 Toyota 4Runner. Although it technically serves its purpose, it is in major need of being upgraded and modernized. So in this video, I will take you on the journey of designing and creating some brand new LED pod style fog lights for my 4Runner. We're going to touch on everything from design, manufacturing, assembly, troubleshooting, and everything in between. I'm super excited for you guys to partake in this adventure with me, and I am really pleased with how the fog lights turned out in the end. All right, so I am super excited to get started on this Forerunner fog light project. Now, the way I'm gonna approach this project is basically a two-pronged approach. The first part is going to be sourcing the fog light cube itself. Now, I'm going for a cube square style light with the four main LEDs. I think this re looks really good in terms of an off-road light. So I'm gonna get an all metal LED square style pod made. And then from there, I'm going to move on to designing a version of this shell that will hold the pod in place, which makes it direct fitment snug in the Forerunner bumper. And so I'll have to reverse engineer a way to hold the cube into the fog light itself. And then we can go from there. So over the next couple of weeks, I got in touch with an off-road lighting supplier, someone that has been in the industry for a long time, and they were able to help me design the pod light that I was looking for. It is a square LED design with an all metal housing that is powder coated. It also is waterproof and is very bright, but yet street legal, which was important to me. I was able to work with them on exactly the beam pattern and light output and voltage that I wanted. That way this could be completely plug and play for full runner owners. Now the main attributes I wanted to focus on while designing this light where I wanted to be extremely durable. That's why I went with the all metal design. I wanted to be able to hold up to the elements and the heat and never rust or anything like that. And I also wanted it to be bright, yet I didn't want it to blind other drivers on the road, which is why I went with the oval style lens and the fog light beam pattern, which uh, shines very flat and wide and doesn't shine up into anybody's rear view mirror or anything like that. I also wanted to be able to offer both a yellow and a white LED color option just because I know many people have different preferences on the style. I myself go back and forth between which one I like better and so I thought why not offer both. Now that we have the light design picked out and wired up for the 9006 connector which is for the 4Runner specifically, we can move on to creating the shell that holds it in the bumper. So right here in front of us is the fog light OEM version for the 4Runner. As you can see, that one came out of my car. This is another one I got from the junkyard. And what I have done is I've taken the lens off and taken the light out itself. And so that's able to open up the housing. I'm gonna take some measurements, get a 3D scan on this, and then we can go from there to reverse engineer fitting this light in here. So let's do it. So here's a video of me absolutely in the zone on SolidWorks, which is a 3D design program. Now, of course, this isn't all the design I did. This is just the part I captured, but I'm basically reverse engineering and simplifying the light in order to fit the pod. And of course, I have to go through many, many versions of this. So this is just a sneak peek into what I did. After that, I was able to send my design to my number one employee, my 3D printer, and get that prototype printed out. That way I could evaluate it and see what needed to be changed and improved upon in order to make the final version of the light. This took about six to seven hours to print one set, so it did take a while. All right, so we're a few weeks into the fog light build. I have here one of the earlier prototypes. This is the white color, and we have decided to make a change in the material for a couple reasons. I was first thinking about going with regular ABS plastic, but my goal is to make this light the most high quality light that I can make it, something that's gonna hold up that you don't have to worry about. And so I present to you the new light material. As you can see, it's a little bit shinier on the outside, but it, this is ASA material. Those of you that aren't familiar with ASA, it's basically a thermoplastic similar to an ABS plastic, but it does have a little bit lighter weight to it, which is nice, but it also has increased durability as well as an extremely high, high temperature and UV resistance just to make sure it holds up over the years, especially in places like the south or out west where it has really, really high temperatures in the summer, talking about close to 100 degrees, and so I wanted something you didn't even have to worry about. And so that is why I decided to switch the material to ASA. 
It also just looks really good on the print and I'm happy with how it turned out. All right, so we're back working uh, with CAD. We have the fog light. It's pretty much done. I do have to clean up a little bit of issues with the fitment in the face of the light shell, but it's pretty much the same design as my halo fog light, except for, of course, it's modified to fit this cube that I had designed. So I'm super happy with how it's progressing, and I think that it's gonna look really good when it's on the Forerunner. So as you can see by the large amounts of Forerunner pods sitting here, I was not, in fact, as close as I thought I was. So basically what happened was there was a fitment issue, as you can see on the left-hand side of the light right there, there was a gap and you could see through it, and that was unacceptable. So I put the time in and I was able to get it perfectly flush right there, and it looks great. So at this point, I have got the finished product ready to go. It looks super great. The fitment is absolutely crisp. I was also able to improve the shell fitment into the bumper of the Forerunner, which makes it very snug and secure. And throughout the prototyping process, I was, of course, double checking the shine of the lights themselves, making sure that they were, of course, symmetrical, but also shining right where you want them to be on the road. That provides great visibility and is not too bright for the driver in front of you. So let's take a look at our final assembly. We, of course, have the 3D design shell and then the LED fog light. It just slides right in, sitting at the front. From there, we can grab our bolts and fasten them to the sides, securing the light in the housing itself. We start with the drill and then move to the Allen key to snug those up nice and tight. And with that, we are pretty much done. We have created some new fog light pods for Forerunner. They are direct fitment and plug and play, which was my goals, as well as being very durable and very bright. So now we're gonna install the finished product on my Fortune Forerunner, show you guys what these things look like during the day and at night as well as an up-close look at the design on the car and the driving performance. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always if you're interested in mods for your vehicle check out the link in our description today thanks